Afternoon guys, little update. Last we spoke was uh, when I had purchased uh, these lovely seats from uh, MK Sports Cars at Stoneleigh. Since then I, I've also ordered a set of seat, rail, seat rails which got delivered and obviously they've been fitted to the bottom of the seats as well. Little problem with the length of the bolts. I've acquired uh, something to actually grip the, um, the threaded insert that's actually in the bottom of the seat uh, as I was using the spacers and unfortunately the bolts that were supplied with the seat rails weren't long enough so luckily I found a set of bolts lying around, cleaned them up, put them on I will be replacing them because I, I want nice shiny uh, um, bright zinc plated bolts instead of uh, the self coloured ones that I got in there but I'll do that when it comes to the final fitment at the moment the front end of it is just cable tied in position just so I could sit in it and uh, get a feel for the position and, and location of it only problem I can see so far uh, not so much on this side, I'll just walk around the car but where the tunnel is uh, the seat belt mounting that's currently down there is obscured so I'm going to have to move that uh, talking of the centre tunnel there is a slight issue with the gear lever which I could probably get away with uh, by drilling the holes a little bit offset that shouldn't be a problem, handbrake is fine but the handbrake mount at the back now for some reason um, we're looking at a line here from the cable that comes up to the back but there now all this is really offset as you can see now there's a cent there's one single cable that comes out and almost follows that line along there and then it's supposed to be onto a bracket that is in the middle and pulls two cables that goes out to each rear wheel now that is well offset ideally this center bit needs to be all the way over here on the end by there so I've got a bit of work to do that, uh, I'm going to have to cut all that off, I'm going to look for a nice piece of metal to blend in there and um, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. So yes, um, that's that one little problem and I'll obviously try and move that down there as best I can, um, maybe even pull it to behind the, um, the seat runner itself rather than be in front. But that's that, next stop is the pedal box. Now, after visiting um, the kit car show at Stonely, I saw a couple of the owners and they had the upgraded box. Now, the upgraded box come with uh, a flange on this outer edge by here, which then had uh, two M6 bolts uh, in it, and um, this side and the other side. Because I've got the, uh, the bottom spec box then, which is still a very nice bit of kit, it does not come with those uh, fitting flanges. Now the other thing that uh, on this car, because I, spe I didn't spec it with everything fitted um, and powder coated, it didn't come with this uh, plate underneath right here. Now it actually worked out quite well in the end, because when I fitted the uh, box flush onto that plate, there was a gap here of approximately 8mm between this box section and the bottom of the box by here. I had some bar available exactly 8mm and it's slotted in really nice. So what I've done, uh, I have drilled and tapped that uh, bar and welded it onto the top of the box section. And because I've now drilled and tapped it, my mounting bolts, if I come back around the other side, they're right in the middle. I've got two of them right in the middle at the back. One by there and one just peeking uh, up there, bolting down into that section. And there's also two bolts at the front. These are only M6. So I've got M8 at the back and M6 at the front. Bear in mind the premium box come with uh, mounting four M6 bolts. But after talking to the boys up there, they felt that perhaps the middle pedal wasn't getting enough support. And potentially it was getting it to lift off this section by here. Because there's not enough support there. Because all the support is on the outside edges there and there of the box. So these two M6 bolts. Again, they're only temporary, they're just there to, so I can uh, bolt it in and ensure that it works. I put either side of the brake pedal, the position where you're most likely to get more pressure and any lift off the front of this box. So that seems extremely secure now, it's not going anywhere. And um, yes, hopefully that is that is that now, that is fitted. So yes, um, come quite a way. And next step now is I'm gonna be getting some threaded inserts to uh, go into the seat rails and so they'll drill 
down, weld, and that's where I'll be bolting the seat runners to. I got a few other mods I got in mind for the rear of the car. Uh, that side is going to be ECU and battery tray. This side is fuel tank. Um, I'm not going to move it to the front like other people have because I'm going to be compromised for space on the front anyway because of future plans. So there we have it. That's the latest update. It's all looking good and um, hopefully next time I'll see you. The seats may, may well be bolted in. I may have even a video of uh, how it was done and how they were welded in. I'll see if I can get my camera to work. So anyway, thanks guys. See you again.